channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. Now here in Australia, we are officially in spring. I know up in the Northern Hemisphere, you guys are going into the cooler weather. However, down here in Australia, we are going into summer. So I was feeling very inspired today and I've been wanting to do a look incorporating, where is it? This bad boy right here. This is one of the NYX Vivid Bright Liquid Liners. And this one in particular is in the shade Halo. Now I love a good pop of color. You could totally do this look with any other color, but for me, I just love how yellow looks on my skin tone. So with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, we're gonna kick things off with the base today. So I'm firstly going to prime using the Anoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. Now I mentioned this in my most recent favorites video. And honestly, it's the only primer that I've been using pretty much every single day for the past few weeks. Like I'm obsessed with it. Now for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I don't use this as often as I should, but I know that it is definitely a cult favorite here in the beauty community on YouTube. So I'm gonna give it another go today. The shade that I'm using is number 210 Sandy Beige. And I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and dot that onto my face and then blend it in with my Real Techniques blending sponge. I don't know why I don't use this foundation more often. Like it's pretty decent for a drugstore foundation. Plus I'm really feeling the like glow that it's giving me right now. But moving on to the under eyes. Now I do suffer from really dark under eye circles. You can't really tell on camera because this like setup that I got going on really does help me in ways that you don't even know. But what I like to do to kind of counteract the darkness underneath my eyes is color correct. So this is my all time favorite color corrector. It's from LA Girl. It's their Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. So what I like to do is just take a little swipe to each eye and then pretty much just blend it out with a concealer brush. So I know that this is looking all kinds of crazy right now because I've got like orange patches going on underneath my eyes, but have no fear, I'm gonna go in with concealer. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Beige. It's actually a really good concealer for the price, guys. Super inexpensive, but I feel like it is definitely comparable to Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer. So as you can see, I've just applied that in all the areas that I wanna conceal and highlight, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in with my sponge once again. I'm gonna go ahead and set all those areas before they get a chance to crease up on me. As usual, I'll be using my Australis Ready, Set, Go Pressed Powder in True Translucent. Now for the other areas of my face that I have not yet set, I'm going in with the Benefit Hello Flawless Press Powder. I'm obsessed guys, I am absolutely obsessed. My one is in the shade Petal and yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly press that into all the other areas of my face that I have not set. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. I will finish off the rest of my face a little later, but can I just say like, do you see this creasing that's going on in my lids? Like, bye. I'm just gonna prime my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. So just taking a couple swipes to each lid and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. I'm just gonna quickly take a light dusting of the translucent powder once again to set the lids in place. So for my first crease shade, I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here. This is Tiki Heart from Makeup Geek. And I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So as you can see, I'm just running this through my crease back and forth from inner corner to the outer corner, really blending it. And yeah, this is gonna be my first transitional crease shade. Next up, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Tan Light from Makeup Geek and I'll be using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my crease yet again, but I'm really gonna concentrate it in the very crease to help define the eye a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade Creme Brulee all over my lid. I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. So as you can see, I'm just packing it onto the lid and then slightly blending it up towards the crease shades. So I'm just going through and blending through the crease once more. And now that I'm looking at it, I was going to add a shadow to the outer corner of my eyes, but 
I don't know, I don't really, I'm not really feeling that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply shadows to the bottom lash line. I'm firstly gonna be going back in to that Tiki Hut shade and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and really smoke this out along my bottom lash line. I'm going back into that Tan Lines shade and I'm gonna run this along my bottom lash line as well, but keep it much closer to the lash line so that it really helps to define the eye. I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush for this. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a winged liner. I'll be using firstly the NYX matte liquid liner in black. Just going to give myself a standard wing. You know what it is. I'm actually really bad at liquid liner these days. I feel like when I was a teenager, I used to be like really good at it. I could do it super quick and easy, but I don't know if it's my age. <laughs> I just can't seem to do my wings properly anymore. So we're gonna attempt to do this right now. Alrighty, so the wings are on. They don't look as bad as I thought they would, but I'm gonna switch things up and go in with another liner. So I'm using one of the Vivid Brights liquid liners from NYX. This one is in the shade Halo. And as you can see, it's a very bright, intense yellow. So essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another wing, but I'm pretty much just using the black liquid liner that I already have down as a guide. So I'm kind of just tracing over that, putting some yellow on to really amp things up a little. I am so obsessed with the opacity of this yellow right now. Like it is honestly like, making me feel some type of way. But now that the lids are done, I'm gonna go ahead and give my lashes a quick curl and then I'm going to apply some mascara. I'll be using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara because I will be applying falsies for this look, of course. I almost forgot, but I want to apply something to my waterline. So I'm going in with this nude pencil liner from Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. And basically it's a nude, so it's really gonna help to keep the waterline nice and bright. And I feel like that really ties in with the whole pop and yellow thing that I've got going on up top. Now for falsies, I know a lot of you would be expecting me to pull out the queen bees from Coco Lashes, but I'm gonna try something different. So these are the Knockout Lashes by House of Lashes. I've never actually used these before, but I wanted a lash that was like intense, but not too intense where it would kind of take away from the liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. And as always, I'm using my House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Alrighty, so now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So I'm firstly going to contour. I'll be using the Chi Chi Highlighting and Contouring Palette. And I think I wanna take just this massive shade right here, shade number five. And I'm using the Models Prefer Contour Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my jawline and my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to contour my nose with a different brush. Next up, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. So I'll be using the Benefits Hula Bronzer and the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit up my face with some of this, just on my cheekbones, around my hairline, just all the perimeters of my face. Now for blush, I'm just gonna go in with a teensy bit of Captivating from Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And and I'm using another Sigma F40 large angled contour brush. I love this blush. And can I just say, I have some chubby ass cheeks, but I love them. I love my chubby cheeks. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go in with highlighter now. So I'm going in with the Laura Geller highlighter in Gilded Honey. You guys, this is like one of my all time favorite highlighters. I live for a really rich gold highlight. Like that is, that's what I'm all about. Now for the lips, I'm going in with Centerfold from Chi Chi. Of course I had to keep things nude, you know how I be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line the lips with this. And my lipstick of choice is this one from Rimmel. It's one of their lasting finish by Kate Lipsticks in the shade number 26. Now this is very similar, I feel, to Max Peach Stock. So if you're looking for an inexpensive drugstore dupe, then definitely check this one out. I just wanna add a little bit of gloss on top, so I'm going in with one of the Dose of Colors lip glosses. This one is in the shade Undressed. It's probably my fave ever. So this is the finished look, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with the pop of yellow. You guys know that I live for a really nice, glowy, dewy-looking complexion with the nude lip, but I mean, the yellow is just... It's doing something for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, 
to my channel, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will list everything that I used in this video down in the description box below where you guys can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you want to chat with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. And with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy. Oh, 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 oh,